Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India come back to this discussion on the performance thrust and efficiencies and all this. So, we are um, initially derived the equation for the thrust and uh, that for turbo jet and then we have also looked upon the equation for turbo fan and then but uh, uh, for example, turbo fan we have not gone through the detail uh, derivation that we will do while we will just uh, go to the analysis of particularly turbo fan. Now, or one can look at the textbooks and uh, he will find it and then we are looking at the different uh, factors that impact the uh, thrust and we just uh, listed upon few of these factors here like uh, just to recall we started with jet nozzle that we discussed and then uh, we have uh, talked about air speed and then um, air mass flow rate how that is connected with the pressure and temperature then the altitude obviously altitude variation that will have serious impact. Then we can have let us say another one in that continuation is the uh, ram effect. Okay. So, this is something that movement of the aircraft which is uh, relative to the outside air which uh, causes some air to be ramped into the engine inlet duct. So, what it does the ramp effect actually increases the air flow to the engine okay, which in turn increases the gross thrust. However, it is not uh, easy that ramp effects combine two factors uh, namely the air speed increase and in the same time increase in the pressure of the air and the air flow into the engine because these are combined things. So, as we can see that increase of the air speed reduces the thrust and so one can see some schematic of that. So, let us say this is uh, Ua or air speed and this is what happens with the uh, this is obviously thrust with this. So, one could go this could be a Ua effect this is B minus ram effect and the resultant could be something like this. So, this is resultant of A and B. So, the increase of air flow will increase the thrust this is what sketched here in the B and the this resultant curve which is the curve let us say C which is effect of A and B. So, the increase of thrust due to ram becomes significant as the air speed increases which will compensate the loss in thrust due to pressure at high altitude. So, this is also ramp effect is also important due to the reduced pressure at high altitude and also it is important in high speed fighter aircraft, but uh, modern subsonic jet powered aircraft fly at subsonic speed and higher altitude to address this make use of this ramp effects. So, finally, if we uh, bring down all this effect effects or factors that affecting the thrust primarily into two group maybe 
something like factors group 1 could be factors that related to engine and second one could be factors related to the surroundings or surrounding medium. Now, in the first group, so one can see what includes in the first group. That includes number 1, the rotational speed or RPM, which influence both the compressor, both of the compressor pressure ratio and the turbine work. So, the rotation speed is going to impact number 2 exhaust nozzle size because that is going to affect the exhaust, exhaust velocity. So, which in turn will have effect on thrust. So, then there could be fuel flow rate, turbine inlet temperature. So, these are affect the combustor heat generation because how much fuel is pumped into the system. So, accordingly how much reaction has taken place which will allow to have the um, temperature rise due to the energy release in due to combustion and something like that. So, now compressor bleed or compressor bleed flow some water injection and also component some performance. So, components performance individual component performance of that which had also lead to the specific work. So, these are the some of the important factors that actually affect the in which are engine related factor. And the second category which is the factors they are related to the surrounding medium. So, in a nut cell if you see all these finally impact the m dot a air mass flow rate and z velocity. Okay. and z velocity which is u e. Now, when we look at the factors which are related to surrounding medium, this could include like forward uh, forward air speed which essentially leads to decrease in thrust and more fuel consumption increases. Second, air density and this guy is influenced. So, this is uh, affected because the function of rather altitude, humidity, hot or cold day. So, this air density has impact on finally, the thrust. So, it can increase the thrust or it can reduce the thrust depending on the situation of the condition. So, I mean if you sum up things together, then one can see how these factors actually affect the thrust production and all this. Now, with some of the 
engine performance parameter that we can categorize or uh, look at are some efficiency like thermal efficiency, which is designated at eta h, propulsive efficiency, propeller efficiency, overall efficiency, then take up thrust, then SFC which is specific fuel consumption, then uh, obviously range and other factors. So, we can put it aircraft range, endurance etcetera. So, these are the some of these performance parameter that one can look at and define those performance parameters. Now, again let us um, start with the turbojet case. So, let us take with turbojet performance parameter. So, what we can uh, first define the thermal efficiency. So, so thermal efficiency essentially now there in turbojet the rate of production of propellant kinetic energy. So, this is m dot e u square minus m dot a u square by 2. So, that is the rate of change of propellant kinetic energy where fuel L ratio is m dot a by a, m dot e is m dot a plus m dot a f, which is nothing but a 1 plus a f m dot a. So, total energy consumption sun rate which is m dot f q r. So, q r is nothing but is a heat of reaction of the fuel. So, kinetic energy of the exhaust minus incoming air that is the propellant kinetic energy. So, the thermal efficiency is defined m dot e u e square minus divided by m dot f q r. So, which one can write 1 plus f u square by 2 divided by f q r. So, that is how it can be defined. Now, for a given f and let us say forward speed
speed u thermal efficiency increases continuously for decreasing u by u e. So, one can see that it increases with the decrease u by u e ratio. Also kinetic energy depends on q r. If you have higher q r which lead to the high value of m dot e u e square by 2 or higher u e for turbo pump and turbo fan. So, that increases that thing. Also for uh, turbo pump the power output output is the shaft power. So, the power output is nothing but the shaft power which is let us say P s then one can write thermal efficiency as P s by F q r. So, that means uh, what is the power output and what is the energy input. So, essentially output by input. Now, the second uh, one can look at propulsion efficiency which is termed as eta p. What we can look at the thrust power which is delivered to the vehicle is T into U. So, propulsion efficiency is T U that is the thrust power delivered to the kinetic energy. So, one can write T u m dot a 1 plus f minus u square by 2. Okay. Now, in general f is small and P a minus P a a also that is small, this is the pressure term, this is the momentum term. So, if we take this into account, then uh, we can write eta p as u e minus u into u, u e square minus u square by 2, 2 by u by u e, 1 plus u by u e. So, if u by u e is 1, eta p is 1, that is the maximum one can have. However, thrust is m dot a u u minus u. If u by u u tends to 1, that means thrust tends to 0. So, that means it clearly says that to produce finite 
crossed infinite large engine will be needed. So, which clearly says a message this is not a good idea as a designer to maximize eta p. So, any design that may not be considered or may be consi uh, may not be considered by setting a objective of maximizing the propulsion efficiency because that can lead to a really disaster situation. Now, propeller efficiency. So, the propeller efficiency shaft power is converted to thrust power of a moving aircraft by propeller. So, eta p r would be the ratio of thrust power to shaft power which is a p r into u by p s. So, a p r is the portion of thrust due to propeller. Okay. So, the available thrust is generated available thrust is generated by the exhaust of hot gases. Hence, this does not account for a main component of thrust. Okay. So, one can define an equivalent shaft power. So, equivalent shaft power can be defined which is P s and then with that we can have eta P r is F u by P e s which is a p r u by f u by p e s that means, p e s by p s f by f p r. So, which is total thrust by propeller thrust. So, you can just look at some situation this is T by m dot a and this is eta p and this is how it is going to vary there could be different point on this curve and these are correspond to different values of u e by u. So, these are different values. Okay. So, obviously, this is the direction that increases. So, this is small then once it increases this is how propulsion efficiency actually changes and somewhere the curve here is 50 percent somewhere it is 100 percent. I mean just to give you an idea 
how now propulsion efficiency versus this thrust per unit inlet air momentum with u by u as a parameter what we see eta p decreases as u by u e decreases which means u by u e by u increases. So, that means u by u when increases in this direction. This is for a given f and u. This is clearly opposite characteristics to thermal efficiency. Okay, so, this is opposite to thermal efficiency. So, as a designer, it is good idea to make a trade off which must be made between eta p and t by m dot a. So, I mean you can see how things are quite complicated that it is not that if you um, change one parameter or uh, I mean they are so non-linearly to some extent coupled that now we look at the overall efficiency which is eta o. Now, eta o is eta p into eta thermal. So, that would be T u by m dot f q r. Now, since f is very small and p minus p a that pressure component is small compared to momentum. So, overall efficiency could be 2 thermal by u by u e 1 plus u by u e which one can write 2 1 plus half half minus half u by u square if q r 1 by u square into so this becomes u e minus u by f q r by u u e minus u square by f q r. Now, if you plot this guy like this side is u and this is overall efficiency, then the curves looks like this. like that and these are the point which are going to. So, this is maximum at u by u e is always 0.5. So, this is how the overall efficiency also changes. Now, just a quick note for a maximum overall efficiency that is u by u is 0.5 and that correspond to this uh, different values of these things. 
So, this is how the different performance parameter, I mean the at least the efficiency parameter like uh, uh, thermal efficiency, then uh, propulsion efficiency and propeller efficiency and finally, the overall efficiency and they are ob uh, obviously linked with each other and it is not quite easy that once you change one parameter, the others are not going to be affected. Now, similarly, we will look at the performance parameter for uh, turbofan uh, in the next session.